open in prayer. Father, we just want to say thank you. thank you. We give you praise for your word today, God. Yes. Thank you, Father, that you would speak to us, God, encourage us, admonish us. Lord, let us celebrate what you've done for us. Yes. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes. Amen. Well, this morning, as we are celebrating Palm Sunday, does everybody know today is Palm Sunday? Yes. Everybody in here? I didn't know. I was invited to speak for Palm Sunday. I said, when's that? It's today. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the Lord, what the Lord specifically spoke to me to convey today, or really to speak to it, and I'm going to do my best to teach it and not try to preach it. So say, help a Lord. <laughs> Amen. Now, Jesus is the gate to righteousness. Amen. We recognize the gate of the Lord. Amen. We're open in Psalms 118, read 19 to 26. The Lord says, open to me the gate of righteousness. I will go through them. I will praise the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous shall enter. I will praise you for you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I pray, O Lord. O Lord, I pray, send now prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Palm Sundays, we know, is the celebration of Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem during the Feast of the Passover. This event marks the culmination of God's plan of salvation for man. Amen? Because in a week's time, he resurrected. All right? Amen. Now, he goes through the gate. Now, the Bible says, going back to Psalm 118, verse 19 to 26, this is the gate of the Lord. He is the gate. We recognize the gate spoken. Amen? spoken in the prophetic word down through the ages. He is the gate. And now the gate goes through the gate. Amen? We recognize him from scripture. From scripture. He came. He fulfilled. He has accomplished his assignment. Now gate is an entry point. It speaks of access. Amen? A gate is a place that is enclosed by walls. It is often guarded to restrict access, access only to those who have been authorized to enter in. How many authorized folk do I have in this place? How many are happy about being authorized today? How many are excited about being authorized today? Amen? We have access. The gate has given us access into the gate of righteousness. Amen? He said, open unto me the gates of righteousness. Hallelujah. Now he rides into Jeru Jeru Jerusalem. I can't tongue tied today. We're going to speak. Hallelujah. Rides into Jerusalem in fulfillment of the scriptures, declaring to man, if you're looking for the Messiah, here I am. Amen. Here I am. And he's saying it today. He said it then and he's saying it today. Here I am. If you're looking for peace, here I am. If you're looking for love, here I am. If you're looking for joy, here I am. If you're looking for hope, here I am. Amen? Yes. Isaiah 65, verses 1 and 2. He says, I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought not for me. I said, behold me, behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out my hands all all the day unto a rebellious people who walk in a way that is not good after their own thoughts. Now, because of their missing access, we come in. Amen? We enter in. Amen? Amen. The Lord knew what he was doing. Amen? Yes. We found opportunity. Amen? Yes. Jesus told the law keepers in John 5 and 39, you search the scriptures. You think that in them you have eternal life. It is these that testify about me, yet you refuse to come to me to have life. We have access, amen, because we recognized what he is to us, amen? We recognized he is love. He is healing. He is deliverance. Salvation is in him, amen? We didn't look for another. The word of God identified him. And we recognized him. There he is. 
Amen? There he is. Hallelujah. And, and again, he's still saying it today. Yes. Now that we recognize him, it is our honor to proclaim him and to tell others to seek him while he may be found. Amen? Amen. Psalm 40 and verse 7. Lo, the Lord says, Lo, I am come in the volume of the book. My favorite scripture. Lo, I am come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O God. Amen? Down through the ages, all the prophetic word. And he comes proclaiming on this earth during his, his, his earthly ministry. Jesus proclaimed, was ever proclaiming, this is who I am. I am of my father. My father is in me. All this that we would recognize him. Amen. Yes, amen. John 18, 37. It says, Pilate therefore said unto him, art thou a king then? Jesus answered and said, thou sayest that I am a king. To this end I was born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. It speaks to us of the finality of God's word, his promise to man, his faithfulness. He is the promise keeper, the one who cut the covenant in his own blood. Amen? Amen. The strength of this covenant that we have. Hallelujah. Psalm 138 verse 2, you have magnified your word above all your name. The Lord has magnified his word. The Bible says what? In the beginning was the word and the word was, was God. Word is God. Amen. The Bible says that flesh, he came and dwelled among us. Stepped out of eternity into time and dwelled among us. Amen. John 1 4 and 14, and the word was made flesh and dwelled among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Matthew 11 and 3, the Lord says when, when John, John came to him, sent his, his disciples to come to him and say, okay, I'm about to die. Should we be looking for somebody else? Are you it? Because I've lived for this. Are you it? And Jesus' response is, the blind, in, in verse 3, the blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he who is not offended in me. Amen. 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 We're not establishing our own righteousness today, amen. amen. Luke 4, 17 to 21. After Jesus read from Isaiah, he said, today is this scripture fulfilled in your hearing. Again, proclaiming, proclaiming, declaring, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. If you want me, if you need me, I'm here. Yeah. Amen. His righteousness and his just in his righteousness. I love the Lord. I love the Lord for he is righteous and he is justice. His righteousness and his justice. He is righteous and he is just. He demanded righteousness. He is righteous and he knew we could not manifest righteousness on our own. So he gave us his righteousness. Amen. And in his justice, he declared to us who he is and who he's not. And did not look for us to do right on our own. He gave us in his justice. He gave us the Lord. Amen. Amen. He gave us his truth. And it sounds like that's my time. I have, <laughs> I have so much more to say. But before the Sandman comes to get me, I will say hallelujah. He has fulfilled his assignment. The gate of the Lord. Amen. <laughs>